Hello guys, I should game plays, I'm Fabio Pisco oh! and welcome to my channel. It has come to my attention recently via X when I was scrolling X and somebody actually tagged me on a post from Digital Foundry that Unreal Engine 4 games with RDNA 4 GPUs, the RX 9000 series, are giving huge stutters when you're using Unreal Engine 4 plus ray tracing. And yeah, yeah I know, ray tracing, racing, whatever. The thing is, games like Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice, Returnal and so on are perfectly playable with ray tracing with a new, with a new AMD card. So if, if they are perfectly playable, you might want to, to play them at their best with ray tracing. And if you try to play them according to Digital Foundry and some posts that we have, they're kind of unplayable with huge shader cache loading stutters, or at least that's what I assume they are. But well, let's start watching a bit of this video, the, the F Direct Weekly 223, with uh, RDNA4 suffers from broken RT in UE4 games. Let's start, and after this, I'll test those games to see if they work well or not. But before that, if you want to help the channel, lay an eye on today's sponsor. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall, bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design. And for all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only $15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. Those games to see if they work well or not. Cheers. Um, and uh, this was something we could check out quite quickly, right, Alex? And indeed, you have. So um, there was the, the topic on Reddit is basically saying ray tracing is broken on RX 9070, 9070 XT in UE4 games. This is the post games, or in PC Master Race. Nice. Ma major freezes with DX12 plus RT on RDNA 4. Damn, um, 1 to 10 seconds. This is insane. <laughs> um, so you have looked into it. Is there an issue? Yes, there is. Um, so the user pointed it out in Returnal, Senua's Sacrifice, okay. Sackboy, as well as, uh, they probably looked in a couple other titles. Um, and the th of the three, I tested all of those, all those three. I couldn't get it to happen in Returnal. Um, and I think that's because it was the okay, level Returnal, I was on. I was only on the initial really buy happen. Maybe. And I think the reason why it didn't happen is because the shader... But well, let's just move a bit forward to any tests, Senua Sacrifice, which is the worst one, I believe. But you'll see the massive zero FPS line Ooh, when the game stutter. stops moving. Like three seconds. And it happens uh, continuously as you progress through the, the game's first area. I believe that Alex is right here and it has to do with shader compilation stutters. I myself thought about the same immediately. And this was mostly a thing when AMD, I believe that the RX 6000 cards were already out, so are they need to, and they improved their DX11 titles in order to make things work much better. DX11, OpenGL drivers, they were vastly improved and it had to do with shader compilation and so on. The previous drivers were smoother, but at the same time, they had way, way more driver overhead in terms of CPU because the shaders weren't pre-compiled. So it was kind of a mess. Uh, but yeah, I believe it has to do with that. And this is, by the way, this is completely unplayable. I think this is awful. Okay, cannot... so let's test it. So the first game I'm going to test is Returnal because Alex said that he couldn't make it stutter. And as for the settings, again, I'm using the RX 9070 and again, a huge stutter, like <laughs> like just going to the settings. Uh, we're using Epic settings and with rate racing set to maximum as well. So rate racing options, Epic on Epic, Epic. So again, rate racing set to maximum, no kind of upscaling and we're running the RX 9070. So. Uh, it was stuttering on the menu. Let's see if it keeps stuttering or not. Okay, no stutter so far. Maybe because the shaders are pre-compiled in this game. Most of the shaders. Okay, I haven't played this game for quite a while, so I don't remember how these walls work. Okay. Everything seems to be working correctly, but again, I'm not going into new zones, so that's expected, I guess. Let's go to that wall. Let's try. Oh, a little stutter, but the usual stutter. Nothing that huge, like four seconds or something like that. Just the usual stutters. I see. Oh, and I'm not dead, but close enough. Okay, let's see this one. 
Again, no stutters whatsoever. It just, I mean, just goes well, I guess. No stutters here as well. The starship. No stutters here. So as for Returnal, like Alex said, no stutters whatsoever, but again, I just tested a single part, but it seems to be fine. To me, it seems to be fine. Now we're testing the Ascent, which is one of the games that I like the most, and by the way, I'm playing with OptiScaler enabled. Uh, as you can see, FSR 4.0.1 is running here, and as for the settings, basically the usual maximum settings, 1440p ultrawide, maximum settings, ultra, whatever, with ray tracing enabled, and here it says DLSS, because of course we're using OptiScaler through the DLSS API, so basically FSR 4 through the DLSS API, since this game only has DLSS. As you can see, we're running around 80-something FPS, and this is one of the games that don't pre-compile many of the shaders, so we still have some issues here and there, and as for now, it seems that it is fine. The same way that Returnal was fine, I believe that this game is fine as well. Oh, oh! <laughs> it was like four seconds stutters. Okay, the sooner I, I talked, the sooner it would have happened. It's just insane. Damn. Four seconds, but again, that happened and it is now working fine. So it is a shader compilation issue. Definitely. Okay. It seems that we have some... Oh, ice minus two. Okay. Oh, and another stutter. Smaller now. Definitely smaller. And we have a huge, really huge one. Like three seconds, but after that, everything was completely fine. So it is, or it has to do with uh, with the shader compilation process. As soon as the shader compilation process starts, since we have ray tracing, the shaders, I don't, I don't really know, the shaders maybe are bigger or something, and they take a lot more time to process. Again, another one. <laughs> and yeah, this one was like two seconds instead of four, but still happened and shouldn't happen. Not like this, at least. Not like this. So yeah, we do have those stutters, those shader cache completion stutters with ray tracing, with the ascent, something that we didn't have with Returnal. The ascent presents those same stutters. Firstly, we had one or two that were really big, like three, four seconds, but after that, the stutters were small. But still, uh, I, sh I wouldn't say that this is unplayable. It is definitely annoying for a single player game experience, but not unplayable. Because as soon as you kind of load that shader, uh, as soon as you pass through that area again, the shader cache loading issue, so basically the big stutter won't happen again. But as soon as you load new areas, yeah, it will be there. So it's kind of a bummer, definitely. So now we're running Ghostwire Tokyo, which is one of the games that I enjoyed the most in the past couple of years. Although it had lots, lots of flaws actually when it launched. It is a very interesting game that I enjoy very much. Uh, it, uh, it has been updated and we have more skills now. The story has gotten better, by the way. And I'm also using OptiScaler, as you can see, FSR 4.0.1. And I'm using it through FSR 2 because with the new version of OptiScaler, you can use FSR 2 inputs instead of just FSR 3, 3.1 and the LSS or XSS. If the game has FSR 2, you can use FSR 4 through it, which is great. As for the ray tracing settings, they are on the maximum. Now, this game pre-compiles basically all the shaders, but we do have some shader compilation here and there. Um, so let's see if we have those big stutters like we have with the Ascent, something that, again, didn't happen with Returnal, but it did happen with the Ascent. Oh, it is coming back. Great. Bam. You're done. Oh, we have some pots of money here. Yeah, I need it. Oh, there's a Tengu. There's another one. Great. Oh, great. And we still haven't had any of those stutters that we had before, which is a good thing, I guess. 
Bam. Oh. Super attack. Bam. You're done. Let's go to the next one. Boom. So as you can see when playing Ghostwire Tokyo, there's no issues whatsoever. Now let's go to the fire. By the way, you have the wind powers, then you have the fire, and then you have the water. The wind powers are basically just kind of faster. They don't do so much damage, or that much damage, as you can see. But we also have some interesting things like this one, this kind of machine gun power, which is interesting. Bam. I can protect myself here. Then we have... Oh! This is a fat boy. Then we have the fire one, which is kind of AoE damage. Does a lot more damage, but at the same time, you know, all the things. Bam! You done. As for the shader cache loading stutters, with Ray Tracing and UE4, basically none in Ghostwire Tokyo. Great. And to finish we have Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice, which again is one of those games where we have 3 to 4 second stutters like uh, it happened with uh, The Ascent, something that didn't happen with Ghostwire Tokyo. And yeah, I'm using OptiScaler as well, FSR 4.0.1, the same as for the settings, I'm gonna show you graphics, very high settings, with ray tracing set to high and uh, of course the LSS quality because it is using again FSR 4.0.1 through the LSS inputs. And the game is running fine, let's see if we have those stutters. Okay, so far so good, but this is a small area and I've played a bit before so the stutters are already loaded. We had a small stutter, but nothing really relevant. Stutters that can happen and do happen a lot with Unreal Engine 4 titles, but nothing really relevant like we had before of three or four seconds. So I'm just gonna go and, and go back in the map in order to force those stutters, to force those sh that shader compilation, and it is happening. Damn! This was like three or four seconds, and definitely like Alex from Digital, <laughs> Digital like Alex from Digital Foundry said, yeah, this is definitely unplayable. I would say that Senua's sacrifice with Ray Racing is definitely unplayable now. We have lots of those stutters. At least, again, I wouldn't say unplayable, but really, really hard to play, because as soon as you start loading new areas, you have more and more stutters, but it seems to be fine now. But they will happen and they can actually break the, the immersion. Yeah, again, one of the best things of, about this game is the immersion and it will break the immersion. As for other games like The Ascent, we do have those issues per se, but they aren't game-breaking or as game-breaking as they are with Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. Yeah, I wouldn't want to play the game like this. So if you have an AMD card and you want to play or you're having these issues, uh, yeah, just disable ray tracing. And by the way, I tested Senua's Sacrifice with the RX 7800 XT and it was running fine. With or without ray tracing, the stutters were basically the same, while with the 9070, uh, yeah, with ray tracing, the stutters are way bigger, like 3-4 seconds, so this is definitely, definitely an issue with RDNA 4 cards, the RX 9000 series, and their drivers, and AMD definitely needs to fix this. And well guys, that's all for this video, thank you very much for watching, I just wanted to test how these Unreal Engine 4 games with Ray Tracing would run, if they would really be stuttering like hell, like in the Reddit post, or like uh, Alex from Digital Foundry tested, and yeah, some do, some don't, it has to do with the shader compilation process, so if a game has pre-compiled shaders, it will most likely run fine. If it doesn't, it will run like hell with Ray Tracing, at least with the current drivers. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Cheers.